creamy, saucy, spicy and peanutty rice stick noodles. Super easy to make and super delicious. This is my version of a spicy and peanutty pad thai. To add some hotness to our dish, you could use every chili paste, but I really like the gochujang chili paste. It's Korean and it adds a lot of nice depth. If you don't have that, just use another chili paste. To get this really nice umami flavor, I will add some white miso paste. And to get our creamy consistency, I will use peanut butter. To add some sweetness, I will use black soy sauce. You could also just add some sugar, that will do the same effect. For our vegetables, I will use pak chai, scallions and some fresh cilantro as always. Then to add some meatiness and some texture to our dish, I will use king oyster mushrooms. I really love them because they stay quite dense and absorb all the nice flavor and give us really nice texture in our dish. I will use quite a lot of garlic and ginger. For the rice stick noodles, I chose the medium ones. They take about five minutes to cook. Then I'm slicing my mushrooms in quite chunky pieces. Peeling my garlic, I always peel it with a spoon because it's less food waste. Cut this in nice pieces. Then we cut our scallions just in cute little wings and I actually put the stems in some cold water and then let it sit for a few days for them to regrow. That's a picture of day 4. It takes a little while but it's worth it. Then we just pick the leaves of our pak choy. Now that our vegetables are prepared, I'm preparing a wok with hot oil. I just used normal vegetable oil. Then I'm adding my mushrooms and let them brown for a while. The browning process can take up to 10 minutes. Make sure that they get some color. When our mushrooms are nice and brown, I will add the miso paste. In the next step, I will add my garlic and ginger. I add quite a lot. Feel free to add less. I just love garlic and ginger. Just give it a nice stir, let it brown, let the flavor and spices develop and then I'm deglazing my wok with hot water. Just let it simmer for a while so that our flavors can develop. Meanwhile we can cook our rice stick noodles. I will put them in 4 minutes because they will still cook a little while in the sauce in our wok. Just give it a stir once in a while because they really like to stick together. After 4 minutes I will drain them and then put some cold water on top to stop the cooking process. When our sauce reduced a little bit I will add our vegetables. and then put a lid on top so that they can steam. You see now that our sauce reduced quite a lot, so I will add a little bit more water. Then I will add the black soy sauce. I will add this now because I don't want it to reduce too much so that our dish doesn't get too sweet. Now I will add the peanut butter that will give our dish its creaminess. Give this a nice stir. Now we're finally adding our chili paste. Mix, 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 mix. And now we're getting this beautiful red color. Now we're adding our rice stick noodles. I will cut them a little bit for them to be easier to work with. 
and move them around in the box so that all the noodles get coated. Now I'm garnishing my dish with fresh cilantro and then we can finally eat. Look at this creamy sauce. The oyster mushrooms are soaked with flavor. The sauce is spicy but creamy and peanutty. I'm really looking forward to this. It's a very easy dish. It's super quick. You don't need a lot of ingredients. What's there not to like? Thank you so much for watching, have fun cooking and I see you in my next video.